party right away. All right, all right, all right. How we doing? All right. <laughs> all right. Anyway, I just wanted to start a little bit of a scrap video here. this is anything that would be of interest to you, but here we are. Too much tubby in the frame. Anyway, can't be ill. Wide and all outside, you see. Anyway. What I want to talk to you today about is to scrap or not to scrap. I'm going to scrap. Now, I got these wiring, this wiring, out of computer towers. That's the ends. I don't think it's going to show too well on the... Uh, screen but let's just say that there is the wiring I get out of computer towers now I don't have personally enough to weigh in at a pound and I could possibly be sitting on this for two more years as far as I know. Get you guys back there so you don't have too much, too much of me in there. Now, anyway, what I'm going to do, this end here, the black end, I'm going to cut that off on both sides. Then I'm going to take a scissor and split down the middle. There's a little crease. I don't know if you can see it, but right where that lettering is, there's a crease. I'm going to split it down the middle with the scissor, probably about quarter, maybe half inch, and just peel it apart from there for the rest of the way. Now, this particular one I found is an aluminum wire. And what, like I said, I don't get enough of it to make it worthwhile. And I found the only yard in my area that will accept it pays the junkiest prices around. There are yards that all yards will buy a wire, to my knowledge, you know. I don't know of one yet that won't say that. I don't know of one yet that won't be like, oh, we don't buy that. We don't buy wiring. Now, they may not buy all wiring, like coaxial cables or wiring like that. But they, you know, you come in with Christmas wires. You may have to clean them up. Some yards don't require you to. I happen to know two yards, you don't have to clean up Christmas yards. The one pays 15 cents a pound. Last I checked, the other one will pay 33 cents per pound. Now, I go to another yard that if you clean it up, they'll pay you a little bit better. 50, 60, 70 cents per pound. That's how they operate. But you gotta sit there and take the bulbs and all that off. Well, I'm gonna do a video down the road, depending on how soon I get my wire stripping machine. But I have a wire stripping machine coming. And it's a handheld unit. I don't know if it's worth the money. I know nothing about it. But it's a learning adventure, you know, learning curve, whatever you want to call it. Now, 
wiring like this here. I, if I'm lucky, I'll get a nickel a pound for at the one particular yard that takes electronics. Ten cents a pound? Maybe. I don't know. Now, being that I'm getting aluminum out of these, I'm going to put it with my aluminum pile and get 40 cents a pound for it. Now, granted, i got to take apart, see, one, two, three, four, five, probably about ten of these. No big deal. Just sitting here shooting the breeze with you all anyway. So, let me show you a little bit about this. That's a little bit more than a half inch, but, you know, it is what it is. Now, you probably, I ain't wearing gloves, depending on the person, might come up and be like, what in the world are you thinking? Are you a bit mental? Should be wearing gloves. Huh? It is what it is. Come on, it wasn't this hard earlier. Oh, come on. Didn't give me this much problem here just a minute ago. Or five. Okay, give me a minute. Just... All right. Glad to see you stuck with me. So I got enough started here, you see. Ooh. So what I'll do, take it. Boom. Boom chakalaka. And then hmm. you know what? Hmm. It'll be a monkey's uncle. Didn't do that on the last couple I had. Hmm. Mm. Son of a plumber. So on a side note, passing by McDonald's the other day, and our local Moorhead McDonald's is hiring. Fifteen dollar an hour, and they've got. $2,500 sign-on bonus. Pretty snazzy. And I'm not going to ask people if they want a hot apple pie with that either. I ain't applying. Homie don't play that game. Really, homie don't play that game. 22 years too late for me to go to McDonald's and be like, you want a hot hot pie with that? First customer that comes in mad, I'll be out of a job. That's just me being nice about it.
And that's me working in a factory for 17 years straight. <laughs> Where you said something first and thought about it later. That's how we were. Act first, think later. That's how we were. That and trailer park life. Oh, great googly moogly. I don't have much time, so I'm going to pause it, get this one started, show you again. Now oh, that worked out better than that, that. I go to cut it and pull it. Most of it came out on one side. Right away. Nothing worse than getting stuck in the foot with a little piece of metal. And... <laughs> Come back here. So, uh, how we doing? Life treating you good? I'm with you. Anyway. Got how long I'm gonna tell you if you don't get enough of this to make it worthwhile, strip it. That's another thing. If you get volume and you're constantly getting it, may or may not be worth your time to sit there for hours stripping it when you could just cash it in, go your way. On the other hand, guys like me, we got time. So guys like me, dip my fingers into as many places as I can to get the scraps. Just so I can sit here and do a YouTube video, watch a little TV if I want, whatever. And another thing. I don't remember the name of these, like what company produces them, but these are my cable cutters. They are classified as cable cutters. They are aluminum, and they're meant for aluminum copper cordage wiring. And yes, you know the real big, uh, uh, it's the wires that come off washers, dryers, the real big, the, th the thick ones, these will cut through them. I recommend, if you want, just cut cords off of washers, dryers, whatever. I like them. I like them a lot. And they're like... I don't even think you'll pay a full 15 bucks for them. Seems to me I got these for like 11 or 12 bucks out of, I want to say it was Hayward, California. Maybe it was City Industry. Somewhere up in that area. Either way, these come out of California. Go on to eBay. Just look up 9-inch cable cutters. Chances are you'll find this set. Uh, Anyway, I'm out of time. I gotta go. Peace.